35 million views and it's the recipe that started it all. You can't f this one up. Get a nine by 13 dish. Put some rotisserie chicken in that hoe. One bag of frozen peas and carrots. All right, I'm gonna kind of like mix them around so they're evenly distributed. Two cups of milk. Two cups of Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. Conveniently enough, this package is like damn near two cups. So I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. And put that little seasoning packet in there too. We're gonna pour this over the top. Look, don't mix it or anything. Just kind of let it stay where it lands. One can of cream of chicken soup and y'all already know I'm a Campbell's man. Two cups of chicken stock. Really should have measured that out before I put the cream of chicken in here. We'll just eyeball it. Okay, now we're gonna drizzle this over the top and once again, we're not gonna mix. We're just gonna kinda let it go where it wants to go. Much like the first time I made this, I just realized I forgot to put a stick of butter in the bottom of the pan. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna go for it, but you should put a stick of melted butter in the bottom of this pan before you add the chicken and peas. Okay, 350 for 45 minutes. Trust the process. Okay, it's been 45 minutes, and look, I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of golden and crusty around the edges, but in the middle, it still looks real jiggly and not set. So that's gonna throw you off, but don't let it. Just leave this alone, let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. You're gonna end up with like this really tasty gravy all throughout it, and these little bits of biscuits, so good. This is a cursed recipe for me to make on camera. Every time I try to do it on video, I mess it up. But I've made it the correct way with the butter in the bottom of the pan to begin with, and they come out beautiful.